Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel and the Harry Potter store in New York City. We are going to take a look at this entire store. Merchandise, we'll look at prices, sizes of things, and a huge thank you and shout out to Harry Potter New York for allowing me to come in before the store opens to film this empty shop tour. Right now we are at the front of the store. This is the local room. So you're gonna find a lot of Harry Potter New York store branded merchandise, as well as some Makusa, or Magical Congress of the United States merchandise. And also in this room is the beautiful giant handmade phoenix that was made specifically for the store by the prop makers of the Harry Potter films. $30 for this black t-shirt and this white t-shirt. $69 for these spirit jerseys. $15 for the exclusive pink mug, $25 for the hat, $32 for the t-shirt, and $65 for the hoodie. Now the pink collection is a limited edition, so grab them while you can. Here's some more Harry Potter New York themed items. I love these embossed hoodies. $60 each. Makusa t-shirt, Makusa hat. Here's some more Harry Potter New York themed merchandise. Now from the local room, you enter into the house themed room where you're gonna find a lot of house themed merchandise. And make sure you're taking a look at all the details. For example, the carpet has each house founder's relic in the various house themed sections. Slytherin's locket. The sword of Gryffindor. And the Hufflepuff section, which has Hufflepuff's cup on the carpet. $30 for the house t-shirts, $60 for the different house spirit jerseys, $25 for these scarves, $45 for the Lock Haven scarves, and here at Harry Potter New York, for $60 you can get these awesome house crew necks. $26 for these banners, house themed backpacks and lanyards and pins and keychains, $15 for a house umbrella. You can buy this zip up hoodie for $65 in all four houses. Look at this center display, which is covered in house merchandise. Now be sure to take a look at the ceiling, which features the New York skyline and Central Park in the center, which has been turned into the Quidditch pitch. And from the house room, you enter this incredible atrium, which features a giant griffin. We'll take a look at this giant wand section. Some fun Fantastic Beast merchandise. $40 for these fun Nifflers with a coin purse. $19.95 for these baby Nifflers. Now let's go from the atrium into the fun toy section and take a look at Hagrid. You can stand in his shoes and see how tall you measure up to Rubius Hagrid himself. 
Now there are various plush items in here and other fun toys and a dirigible plum tree. How fun is that? For $30, you can get a unicorn plush or a Hungarian horntail plush. $39.99 for Buckbeak. Various games and puzzles. Check out these plush vehicles. $35 each. Now when you walk out of the toy room back into the atrium, there is a kid section and a baby section for Harry Potter merchandise. $30 for the t-shirt, $45 for these crew necks, $55 for these hoodies, $65 for the zip up hoodie. And the t-shirt sizes range from three to four to nine to 10. How cute are these baby cardigans and sweaters? And they are $30 each, $30 for this onesie and $35 for this super cute owl set. There are even Harry Potter New York themed items for your kids. This has to be one of the cutest things I've ever seen. This Honey Dukes hoodie for your child, $50. Here in Honey Dukes, you can see a variety of fun items decorated on top. Candy, a giant chocolate frog that was made specifically for the Harry Potter store here in New York. There are some ice mice shivering on top of the shelves. Those poor ice mice, they're so cold. And of course, lots of candy to purchase and try. You can also get Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans in the decorative cardboard box and reusable tin. I love this artwork on the wall which shows all of the different bean flavors that you can find in these different boxes. George swore he got a bogey flavored one once and now you can too. The displayable cardboard replica box is $12 and the tin is $20. It's not the wizarding world without chocolate frogs and Harry Potter New York has plenty to spare. The chocolate frogs in this replica cardboard box are $12, and each pack comes with a collectible chocolate frog card. And you can get a reusable tin version for $20, and the reusable tin comes with five chocolate frog cards. If you want to start collecting chocolate frog cards, this is an incredible starter set for $20. It comes with the four founders of Hogwarts and Dumbledore. For $26, you can get these plastic reusable Honey Dukes themed candy dishes with a variety of candy options. It's not the wizarding world without butterbeer. You can buy bottled butterbeer three different ways in a four pack, a single pack, or the exclusive Harry Potter New York bottle. This label was designed exclusively for Harry Potter New York by Mina Lima, who are the graphic designers for the Harry Potter films. The single bottles are $6, and the four pack is $16. $4 for the reusable bag, $12 for the keychains, and $10 for the pins. If you want to feel like you're working in a butterbeer bar, $45 for this awesome apron. 
If you have a sweet tooth, Honey Dukes is the place for you. <laughs> Peppermint toads, caramel cobwebs, fizzing whisbies, ton tongue toffee, fudge flies, choco chalk. This is really good. It's dark chocolate with chili powder. You can give some ice mice a try with these ice mice lollipops, blood pops, just strawberry flavored and three different sugar quills that you can give a try. And what's cool about the sugar quills is if you wet the black end, you can write with them. Love Potion, Exploding Bonbons, Felix Felicis. Now, unfortunately, this is not liquid luck. It's just candy. You Honeydukes theming fans are gonna love this little corner here. This makes me feel like I'm visiting Honeydukes and like buying Honeydukes themed merchandise. $20 for the Every Flavor Beans pillow, $70 for the Danielle Nicole Love Potion bag, $15 for the plate, $18 for the mug. Look at this awesome metallic notebook. $20. $4 for the reusable bag. Honeydukes umbrellas for $25. And I've only had good luck by opening umbrellas inside, so we're gonna check out this umbrella. How fun is this? All the magical sweets and Honeydukes themed. A Wizarding World sweets filled Honeydukes spirit jersey. And these range in sizes from extra small to 2XL. Here are some Honeydukes shorts or like a romper. A Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans dress. $48 for the dress and $55 for the shorts. Everyone, this is Sammy at the Harry Potter store in New York City. Say hi if you come here. This is our wand shop. We have 10,000 wands on these walls. And here's where you can get all of your favorite wands from the series, all for $39. We have Fleur, Ginny, Luna. We have everyone all the way down to Snape and Fantastic Beast characters as well. We have Newt, Queenie, Lita Lestrange, anyone you could possibly think of. We also have house celebration wands, which are $42. Those were not made for the series, but they're inspired by the series. And they're extremely popular. We actually have three wands that are also available as wooden wands. We have Harry, Hermione, and the Elder Wand. These are our signature wands. They're handcrafted out of wood, and these are $80. My favorite by far is Remus Lupin's. It just feels the best in your hand, and it's simple, but it also has a lot of meaning. This ball at the end here, here, represents the full moon, obviously, as he's a werewolf. But also, my favorite part about that is that when he's using it, he has to hide the full moon, hide that part of himself. Uh, but if you watch Prisoner of Azkaban, anytime he's with Harry in his office when he's feeling comfortable, he gestures with his wand a lot like this, as if he's not afraid of that part of himself when he's with friends in a safe environment. People ask us all the time if there's a difference between the Dumbledore Elder Wand and the Grindelwald Elder Wand, and the answer is yes. They're just extremely subtle. The Grindelwald Elder Wand is a shade darker than the Elder Wand uh, for Dumbledore, but you can really not tell unless they're right up against each other. But I got a little trivia question for you. Do you know what the core of the Elder Wand is? I do. It's a Thestral hair. Thestral hair. It is the only wand we know of that has a Thestral hair core, which makes sense as the story goes that it was made by death itself. Thestrals can only be seen by those who've seen death. So there's a very strong death theme throughout the entire Elder Wand. They also, when they were designing the Elder Wand, they didn't originally know that it was the Elder Wand. They just thought they were designing Dumbledore's wand. But because JK Rowling knew the significance, she did have a say in uh, the overall design of the wand. But they also wanted it to sort of be a refraction of Voldemort's wand. So Voldemort has that clear hooking bone. And so they wanted this to feel skeletal as well, but in a, a little bit of a less macabre way. So it looks more like joints, almost like a finger, like the finger of death pointing at you. Sometimes evil comes to Harry Potter New York. We have to be able to solve that evil. So sometimes Dementors will appear and you gotta know your Patronus charm to get rid of them. Dementor, Dementor! Expecto Patronum! Oh. That's how you do it. So here are our house celebration wands. While all the other wands were carried by characters in the series, these are inspired by the series, specifically mostly by the Hogwarts houses. So we have one for every house mascot. Here's your Gryffindor lion. And one for every house artifact. So here is the sword of Gryffindor inspired one. As well as some other ones thrown throughout. So we have a phoenix and a bow truckle and a thestral, which is actually one of my favorites. 
it sort of feels nice in your hand. The great thing about these house wands is that because they aren't carried by characters, there's no limit to how many of them we can make. So who knows, maybe there might be some new ones on the horizon. This right here is our wand table. It's interactive, so you can touch a character's wand and find out whose wand it is. This is Queenie. And you can find out information about it and uh, what spells it likes to cast. There are also some combinations that you can use as well. For instance, Harry and Voldemort can duel, or Harry and Ron, when you touch them, uh, it'll reenact the scene from Chamber of Secrets where they get stuck in the Whomping Willow. There's lots of amazing information you can find on this, and it's completely self-dependent. You can just do it on your own. And there we go, it's that easy. Good always wins here at Harry Potter New York. It's not the Voldemort store, it's the Harry Potter store. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Spelliarmus! <laughs> Woo! Ah, winner. <laughs> Harry Potter always wins. <laughs> now next to the wands is the Harry Potter style guide and fashion room, which features all four of the houses and different fun related items. Check out these fun Slytherin hoodies. Very artsy. Here's the front of that t-shirt for $35 and the hoodie is $65. $35 for the backpacks, $18 for the various mugs, $22 for the baseball caps, pin sets for $18. And then next to the Harry Potter style room is the Harry Potter New York Butterbeer Bar. And then from the Butterbeer Bar, it leads into the checkout area. So after you've made your purchases, you can grab a Butterbeer on your way out. There's a lot of merchandise to check out as you're checking out, so make sure you take a look. I love the different variety of reusable bags that they sell here. Lots of keychains plenty of other merchandise to take a look at. And the checkout area leads into the atrium, which is where the Griffin is located. One of the coolest design elements here at Harry Potter New York are the banisters, the wand banisters. Take some time to walk around and find your favorite character's wand. One of the most genius things here at Harry Potter New York is the elevator. It's the flu network. The cellar. And here we are in the basement. Now in the cellar, the wands change to be a little darker, like Grindelwald's wand and Lord Voldemort's wand. 
Now within the wizarding world, there are dodgy people. So we have a dark arts section. You can get these different t-shirts for $30 each. $80 for this lounge fly backpack and $40 for the matching wallet. This fun cauldron mug, $18. a huge variety of Harry Potter ornaments. Here is an engraved Harry Potter letter ornament, $15. House crest ornaments for $18. And I really like these window globe ornaments, Hedwig and a Niffler, $20 each. The night bus and Ford Anglia. They even have these really cute butterbeer bottle ornaments for $18. You Dobby fans have three shirts to choose from for $30 each. Now when it comes to most of the t-shirt sizes, they range in size from 2XS to 2XL. Check out these beautiful hand-painted tiles made specifically for Harry Potter New York. They give an awesome Ministry of Magic feel. Now it wouldn't be Harry Potter without the Harry Potter books, and Harry Potter New York has a dedicated section to the Harry Potter books. You can purchase the first edition Harry Potter books with artwork by Mary Graham Prey in both hardcover and paperback, and each one comes with a special Harry Potter New York sticker. There are plenty of other books to choose from, as well as bookmarks, wand pens, and other stationary items, journals, $25 for this Monster Book of Monsters journal. One of my favorite things about the book room is Mary Graham Prey's chapter artwork painted directly onto the brick walls. There's some serious detail in this book arch, like book titles that we read about in the Harry Potter books. They're here. Now every witch or wizard has to go to the bathroom, so if you're looking for it, it is right by the book room. Here's some platform nine and three quarters merchandise. Pajama sets for $50. $35 for this nightshirt. And through the book archway is the first and only House of Mina Lima here in the United States. One of the coolest things you can purchase for yourself or for a fellow Harry Potter fan is a personalized Hogwarts letter. And it's not just personalized by anyone. Mira Foramina, one of the graphic designers on the Harry Potter films and the creator of the first Hogwarts letter is the person who hand writes each one. For $50, you can get this exclusive Harry Potter New York print done by Mina Lima and a massive variety of both their premium prints and their standard prints.
All of the premium prints are hand foiled by the creators at the Mina Lima studio, as well as signed and numbered by Mirafor Amina and Eduardo Lima. These journals are some of my favorite things. They feature artwork that was created by Mina Lima for the Harry Potter films. $18. Serious attention to detail in the theming in this room. Check out the wallpaper, which is the black family tree. And you're probably thinking to yourself, man, I wish I could have the black family tree wallpaper in my house. Well, alas, you can. For $110, you can get a half meter by 10 meter roll of Mina Lima's designs on wallpaper. The Black Family Tree, the Marauder's Map, the Hogwarts Library books, and the Daily Prophet. Various Mina Lima posters for $12. And check out the floor in this room. A giant Marauder's Map. Note cards for $5 each. Harry Potter themed wrapping paper. And Harry Potter New York stays up to date with Mina Lima's new prints. Now you're seeing a lot of items in their prints, like the Time Turner, for example. Some people don't know that Mina Lima designed many of the famous props that we know from the Harry Potter films, like Hermione's Time Turner. They did the Daily Prophet and all the other paper products. They also designed things like Ravenclaw's Diadem, Slughorn's Hourglass. So Mina Lima had a massive role on the Harry Potter films. Here in the personalization section, things that must be named, you can personalize a wide variety of items. Triwizard tournament jerseys, Hogwarts trunks, stationery, acceptance letters, wands, house robes, jewelry, and more. Gryffindor Amelia chose to personalize her house robe. House robes are $100 with an additional $10 for personalization. They have both kids sizes and adult sizes. And the robes range in size from four extra small in the kids size to two XL in the adult sizes. You can buy both cardigans and V-necks in the Hogwarts House sweaters. These are both made by Lockhaven, which is the official sweater company for the Harry Potter films. $75 for the cardigan and $70 for the sweater. All four houses. You can purchase house ties in all four houses, as well as keychains, lanyards, and pins. One of the few places you can still purchase Neville's cardigan is at Harry Potter, New York. $90. You can also purchase the Mrs. Weasley Harry Potter sweater, $85. Other things you can personalize are these pens and these different journals. Here's something very fun that the Harry Potter store brought to wand collectors. Personalization for wands. You can have your name or your favorite character's name up to eight letters engraved into all of the wands they sell here. If you want to put your initials on a Harry Potter trunk, it's $100 for the large and $60 for the small trunks. This is how large the large trunk is compared to me and the small. In my opinion, one of the best things you can purchase here and one of the best values is a personalized Triwizard Tournament jersey. For $40, you can get your name on the back of your house Triwizard jersey. And yes, the personalization is included. And you can have up to nine letters put on the back of your house Triwizard Tournament jersey. I cannot recommend enough, if you come to the Harry Potter store here in New York, you have to sign up for at least one 
of the VR experiences. They are extremely immersive, like Wizards Take Flight, where you can ride on a broomstick around the Hogwarts grounds, or upstairs, which is chaos at Hogwarts, where you walk through the halls of Hogwarts and we assist a character that we all know and love in a time of great peril. You can pre-purchase your tickets for the VR experiences at harrypotterstore.com. Check out this giant time turner made specifically for the Harry Potter store. You can purchase Harry Potter jewelry by Q-Pot. Looking for something Harry Potter and shiny for display? You can purchase these beautiful Swarovski crystal Harry Potter items. You can't be a Harry Potter collector and not know about the Noble Collection. They have a wide variety of Noble Collection items here, like the Sword of Gryffindor for $200, and it comes with this beautiful display. For $400, you can get this stunning Noble Collection Final Challenge chess set. There's a massive selection of magical creature figurines to purchase. $15 for the pin badges. The slider charms range in price from eight to $10 each. And 10 to $15 for these keychains. Various necklaces, 15 to $20 each. These house-themed cosmetic bags are only $15. I think that's a pretty darn good deal. $25 for the house pillows and $26 for the house tumblers. Well, that is the Harry Potter store here in New York City. If you guys are in the city, you have to check it out. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at The Potter Collector, or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on The Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?